with the uh, filament. This whole thing, pistol, but you're down at the ovule level, right? So you can see the little plant ovules. What's going to get produced in here? It's going to get produced in here. Okay. First division or second division? First. Right, you got a nice solid ring of cells. Are you forming some pollen? Yes. Remember, the process is discontinuous. So when you see the nice ring of cells, what is this? Whole thing? Whole thing's the anther, this is the anther sac. So you have the whole thing's an anther. There's your filament. Kind of off the you get a little bit of it there, a little bit of it there. So first division or second division? First. First. Starting to break down. I don't really like that view though. Some of you might be going, wait, that kind of looks like a good ring to me. Definitely looking like first there. Still looking like first. <laughs> Am I killing you with this? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to ask you about that once. Right? I'm not going to. The, di the difference between first division and second division is very subtle. Good God, Mark. <laughs> okay, now we're done. <laughs> well, let me back up for a second. Let me see if I can find one second division that I like. What's the anther sac? It's the little Sorry. little subdivisions inside of the anther. Okay. The whole thing is the anther, and then each individual chamber is an anther sac. Okay. I don't like any of these for second division. The basic idea: if you can see the ring, call it first division. If I fool you or trick you, I promise you to come out to item analysis. I'm not going to do that to you. The basic idea is these cells are committing to this process. I would call this first division because I see a nice solid ring. I don't think there's a good photo of no second division. That's first division. You can still see a nice ring. Maybe, but I wouldn't consider that testable. You look at the left-hand side of that, the cells are committing. Okay, the ring's starting to break down. I don't think that's testable. And at this point, hello chromosomes. Okay. I'm never going to show you anything that close. Now you're done. What are these things? Or, what else could you call them? Male gametophyte. What are they doing? Releasing. They're being transported elsewhere. The hisses. You can see a little bit. Look over here. You can actually see the two cells. One of them is the tube cell, one of them is the sperm cell, or generative cell, as some people say. Oh, look. What is it, y'all? Virus. <laughs> Survey says. Oh, about a tree can What's going on here? Check it out. See the two sperm cells swimming in there. Not that you would ever need to see that, but there you go. There's been your plant porn for the night. Okay. Now, up close and personal. What's the whole thing? What are we looking at here? Ovule. And then you have the individual chambers. What's the line? Cuniculus. Cuniculus. So it goes in, what's this thing? Egg apparatus. Egg apparatus. What's the very first layer of cells right around the edge? The cellus. And you see E-L-L-U-S, the cellus. 
that makes each one of these little leaf looking things uh, now here and this is rare because I don't think very many of you saw this the open edge is the now most of you when you saw this the way to keep track of this the funiculus comes in and touches the Shalaza C-H-A-L-A-Z-A Shalaza yeah, it's, here's the funiculus, and it comes in, and so the chalazal edge is here, the micropile edge is here, because this is the micropile yeah. itself. So it's the top of the funiculus? Yes. Okay. This is also one of the things, if you're doing the lab folder, do the lab folder, draw this thing, because if you draw this thing and you label the parts, the female gametophyte, you won't forget them. Here's the funiculus, you can see it. It makes this edge of the chalaza, this edge of the micropyle. The layer of cells directly around the egg apparatus is the nucellus. These things on either edge are the integuments. That cartoon has some value, in my opinion. You guys with me? Now you're real close. What is this? Egg apparatus. Layer cells right on the edge. Makes this the. Okay, that might be the funiculus over there, but you can't really tell. And now it's time for salad. What type of fruit is this? Okay, now this, at this point, let me give you a suggestion. You ready? Get your categories. Remember, simple fruit are the most diverse. If you can't recognize a pineapple or a strawberry, you're fired. Okay? <laughs> that being said, I know there's a bunch of simple fruits. Do yourself a favor. You have a bunch of little categories. Take something like a berry. Good examples. Grapes tomatoes, put a picture on one side, put the most specific name that applies to it on the other side, make yourself a little set of flashcards for the fruit, run through them a couple of times and forget about it. I'm going to put maybe between four and six pieces of fruit on there. Again, if you can't recognize a pineapple or a strawberry, you're fired. Those are the easy ones. It's these little subdivisions that get a little funky. This is a pepo. Okay, so you could have squash, you could have cantaloupe, you could have watermelon. Welcome to the South Beach diet. No? <laughs> what are you looking at here? Esperidium. This is short-term memorization. Make yourself some flashcards. I promise you it will pay off. Hesperidium. What do we got here? Nuts. Be careful though. Something like a peanut. Right, something like a. Is that a cookie with an eye pan? Yes. What the hell am I doing? I have a cleaver. It's a cleaver. Yeah, that's a. Uh, Mike Myers or somebody in there with a knife? No? If you hit it just right, you can crack it. I 